Hello. Hello, Africa. Hello. Good day, ladies. Good day, ladies, esteemed attendees, scholarship enthusiast. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us today in this momentous occasion as we all gather to celebrate She Code Scholarship Program, She Code Africa Scholarship Program, a remarkable initiative aimed at empowering and uplifting women in technology. I appreciate, we appreciate your time um, today, and I assure you that the excitement and the inspiration awaiting you will make it worthwhile. First and foremost, let me extend a warm, beautiful welcome to each and every single one of you. Your presence here is a testament to your commitment and to fostering gender um, diversity in the tech industry. Today isn't just about the scholarship program, but about breaking barriers, shattering stereotypes, and also creating pathways for a different minds to thrive. Please do share your name, your country, course, your chosen course, and of course, the cycle that you'll be partaking in, in the comments section throughout, throughout the entire two hours, as we all get to know one another, get to share, our hopes, aspirations, and yeah, how best we can tackle um, technology. Please go onto your social media, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, your Facebook, your Instagram, wherever you are, please use the hashtag SCA scholarship or SCAXGWG scholarship. Don't forget to share with as many people as you possibly can. Even share on your WhatsApp status and all. Thank you. Let's have a wonderful event. ladies um please let me know if you can hear me clearly in the comment section welcome 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 to the onboarding live event it's very very great to have everyone here on the call please let me know in the comment section if you can hear me my name is shayo and i'm the program manager at shikode africa and i'll be doing a quick introduction of the team so that you can get to know everyone and you know familiarize yourself with your point of contacts throughout the duration of your program okay um on this um, onboarding event today we have uh founder ada unduka oyo who is um you know like i just said the founder of shikoda africa and she leads the team and initiatives um at the organization also um in this onboarding event, we have some of our FTEs, um, community manager, we have operations lead. Um, though they won't be able to show their faces on the call today, but um, you know, they are with us and they are waiting for you all today. And uh, we also have the program admins and community admins who would be your primary point of contact throughout the entire duration of the program. Um, we have Maboya Sipati, who just um, welcomed you to this slide. She is the program admin for the cybersecurity and IT support track. We also have um, Bakulo Aisha, who is the um, program admin for the digital marketing and e-commerce and projects management track. And for program admins, finally, we have Ejimo for Adeze is the program admin for the data analytics and ux design track and now to introduce the community admins we have miriam wambui who is the community admin for the cybersecurity and it support track 
and uh, Oluwashio Oladeji, who is the community admin for the digital marketing and e-commerce and project management track. And finally, we have Lily Bell Obiadika, who is the community admin for the data analytics and UX design track. So um, as we go on in the onboarding, we'll get to meet some of them, uh, show their faces and um, have some of the sessions today. So um, look forward to that. And um, welcome again, everyone. I'm about to take introductions from, the, uh, from some of the participants today. But this is you know YouTube. So just introduce yourselves in the chat. Um, just like C Party said, um, your name, country you're from, your cycle, and your track, so that we can get to know each other better. I look forward to having a great onboarding experience with you all. As we go ahead in the onboarding, we would have um, our founder, Ada Uduka Oyom, who is going to be giving a brief address, you know, um, just to welcome you officially and share some words um, for you today. Thank you very much, Shayo. Hi, everyone. Um, very excited to be here. Um, once again, we want to apologize for uh, the delay from yesterday. Yesterday was the intended um, onboarding day. Thank you for being very patient with us. Thank you for joining. We have over 100 um, scholars on this call who are joining in of the, on the live stream. We're really excited. Before I go ahead with my address which is going to be very very brief we're seeing um comments we're seeing your comments we're seeing your introductions we have scholars from nigeria we have scholars from south africa we have scholars all the way from Eswatini. we have scholars all the way from botswana and so many countries which is really exciting to see the impacts that we're able to create you know trying to empower girls and women like myself and yourself within technology so I'll just jump right into it, just like she had mentioned. My name is Adam Nduka Oyo, and I am the founder of Shikud Africa. I'm really excited to be here. I'll give a little bit of intro to what Shikud Africa is. Uh, the goal that we have for SCA is to make it an organization that is continuously empowering girls and women like you with technical skills. I started Shikud Africa with uh, a goal of providing free access to resources like this because I didn't have access to that while starting up my career journey. Now, Shikud Africa has grown into an amazing community of almost 40,000 women. I can't remember the last time I checked, but as of when I checked, we're almost at 40,000 community members, including girls and women like you from so many African countries. The team is run by an amazing set of um, women individuals who are doing amazing in their different respective tracks. We also have chapters in so many communities, in so many cities and campuses, not just in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Cameroon, and so many other countries as well. Once again, I want to welcome you to this program. The goal of this program is to work with Google in providing in, or in giving you 100% uh, access, free access to different fields in technology that would give you a headway into launching your career or if you're not a newbie in tech it will give you a headway into upscaling in whatever field it is that you want to get into this program has been one of our most intense programs that we've had to work together to bring forth into fruition as a team i'm not sure if you're aware but this program alone has had the highest number of applications that we have ever received as a as an organization for our training programs. In previous program applications, we've had 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 applications. But for this scholarship program, we had over 20,000 of you indicate interest. And then we had over 10,000 of you sign up or apply to receive this scholarship. So I just want to say a very big congratulations to all 500 of you who were selected for this. Trust us, it was not an easy review. It was so intense that we even had to, we even had to um, extend the application review timeline. 
So once again, congratulations for you to have made this um, short list of 500 applicants or 500 scholars. It is a huge, huge, huge achievement. And I think that it should be amongst your top achievements for the year 2023. Your training would not definitely not start immediately. This onboarding program is meant to give you an insight into what to expect for the next five months. It's not going to be just a heads up. It's not going to be an easy, breezy pass through. It is going to be quite intense. It is going to be as uh, intense as possible because unlike uh, if you were paying for this program directly on Coursera, you would typically have a grace period of six months to complete this. But on this program, because of how intense it was and because of the number of people that we still have on the wait list, we have over 200 people on our wait list alone. We decided to make it five months to show how intense it's going to be and also to see your level of commitment to this. Throughout this onboarding program, your program manager, Shire, who introduced me on the screen, would give an insight into what to expect, what, to, what are the requirements for graduation, and every other thing in between for this program. We're really excited. We're hoping that for the next couple of months or for your own next five months, depending on when your program cycle will kick off, we're really hoping to see quite a lot of changes. I personally am looking forward to seeing the impact that you're going to create using the knowledge they're going to learn from this program and also from the knowledge that you'll be learning from your community or um, sharing with your community or fellow scholars. Thank you very much once again. I'm looking forward to seeing all your amazing impact. Please don't forget to keep sharing on the chat section using your hashtags, using uh, also introducing your names, your countries, your track and your cycle as well. Just before I go off, off, off stage, I would like to read some introductions. I'm seeing all of the introductions, which is very, very heartwarming, and would like to read out some. Hi, Mapule Maluleke from South Africa. I'm so happy to be a part of this program. She's in Cycle One Cybersecurity. We're excited to have you, Mapulele. Um, I can see Faith Ogene. Hi, my name is Faith from Nigeria. Hi, Faith. Nice to meet you too. She's on the digital marketing and e-commerce track. Please do well to introduce yourself so that you can get to meet other people who are also on the same track and cycle as you. I'm seeing Eda Moses. Hey, Queens. I'm Eda Moses from Tanzania. I begin data analytics cycle five. Let's go dig them data. I love that. Hi, Eda Moses. I'm seeing, hi, Sylvia, all the way from Namibia. Uh, my name is Sylvia Iambo, all the way from Namibia. I'm doing project management. Hi, Sylvia. You forgot to tell us what cycle you're going to be in. Hi, Neil. Hi, everyone. I'm Neil Mbata from South Africa. My track is data analytics cycle two. I will just read a few more and then I would drop off and introduce Bakshire to the stage. I can see Judith Meseko. I'm seeing a, quite a lot of South Africans on this program, which is very, very insightful and exciting. Hi, Judith from South Africa, Johannesburg. I'm registered for cybersecurity cycle one. Hi, Gloria Kionju. Hi, I'm Gloria from Kenya. Nice to meet you all. She's on the track UX design cycle five. I think that another thing that we would love to hear you talk about is what you're looking forward to learning from this program. What you're looking forward to learning from the program you can share it on the comment section so that we can see and expect how to help you out thank you everyone once again i'm going to bring up shire on stage or rather i'm going to bring up shayu up on stage for the next aspect of this conversation hi Ada. thank you very much for that um i really enjoyed it thank you very much hi ladies um it's really a great pleasure meeting you all and i'm, I'm really i really have high expectations and really have high hopes on how we are able to um i mean how we're able to ensure that we're able to get this certificate and i mean become more better in our various professions and the various tracks we've all signed up for but I mean, before we go further, because I know we have a lot of lined up activities and I know everyone on this call is actually looking forward to, um, I mean, gain a lot from this program and also get to meet each other. And I mean, also get to know more of each other and, and what ac the activities we have, um, I mean, we've, um, I mean, gathered together for you all. But before we move further, I want us to all grab our phones 
and I mean, go on our various social media platforms like LinkedIn, um, I mean, uh, um, Facebook, Twitter, and other various channels like that. And I mean, the, um, um, the um, hashtag that we'll be using to promote this um, particular initiative, which is the She Code Africa and the um, um, Grow with Google Scholarship Program. I want us all to go on our various social media platform, promote this post, push it out on our various social media platforms and ensure that not only do we also push out this um, post, but we also tag the She Code Africa and also try to take a screenshot and also push it out and tell our friends out there that you are a candidate or I mean you are a scholar and you are a, 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 a particular um, you are a particular um, candidate for this particular initiative. And I mean it's it's a mean for us to also like let the world know that we um, I mean we, we are grateful and um we actually like um have this opportunity to win this particular program and initiative. So please let us all do this and um I mean when you are when you are done you can also like drop it on the um chat box and I mean make a comment or drop um, an emoji signifying that you've done this and while we are doing this please um let's ensure that we also tag the she code africa so um just like the way um, our co-founder i mean ada already um stated earlier that um joining this particular session we all have expectations we all have hopes and i mean we want to um i mean we all we all signed up for this program for a particular reason and doing this i know definitely in the long run we're actually going to face challenges we're actually going to face difficulties and that's why this community that's why we have this community which is the she code africa we are all we all came here on board in order to um i mean to um to motivate each other and to be each other's um i mean partner and accountability partner rather in order for us to um achieve our desired goals and to be able to ensure that we are satisfied in this um, particular track which we've, act we've actually like signed up for so um, i mean i would say for me one of my expectations um for this particular program is for me to um ensure that um for the various tracks on which i oh, okay <laughs> i see that most of us are already doing that thank you very much thank you very much please let's continue pushing out this engagement let's ensure that i mean let's let the world know that this is what um, we're actually like doing. And I mean, there are other ladies out there who don't have, I mean, this particular um, opportunity to sign up for this um, program. And I mean, some of them have to even pay, I mean, a certain amount of money to sign up for this program. But we all yeah, are getting it for free because of, um, I mean, the She Code Africa, um, based on the collaboration with Google Africa, um, based on their collab um, collaboration with Google. So it's something that you should be grateful for. It's something that you should be proud of. So I think it's something you should also like try to push out on, um, I mean, on your various social media platforms. And don't forget, you have to like tag She Code Africa. So, I mean, wh while we are doing that, please, I mean, I've not started seeing um, um, comments that we've um, dropped, I mean, that we've done this. So please, let's push out our comments. Let's ensure that we also engage on our chat box if you have done this so i so we know um i mean so we move further um on the next activity lined up so please let's let's do this and um i mean drop the comments so i would um want to drop the mic and um, i mean shaya is already on board so yes thank you very much Cheryl, for that um and thank you ladies i see that in the chat you know a lot of us are dropping our introductions and I hope that we are also tweeting our onboarding experience on our social on X and also on our social media pages. Um, just like she was said, don't forget to use the hashtag. I see that um cause daily dot k just said John and just said posted on LinkedIn. Thank you, cause daily dot k. Um we also expect that you know, the rest of the scholars will do the same. So I am going uh, right in now into the program overview and the goal of doing this is to you know um, give you more insights into what the program is uh, during your um during the uh excellent out emails to you right um, your congratulatory emails share some information about the program what to expect cycles and schedules and all of that but um now i'll be going for that to you know dive in to what really the program is about, what you can expect, and what we also expect from you as scholars. So the program summary, 
Code Africa, Code Africa Scholarship Program in partnership with Globe Ikubu and Coursera is a 100 percent scholarship provided to select 500 African women and girls looking to upskill across the various fields and tracks. As displayed on the screen, we have cybersecurity, data analytics, digital marketing and e-commerce, IT support, tech management, and UX design. And um, like our founder, Adam Duka Oyom mentioned, we had over 10,000 applications and new 500 ladies on the score right now, uh, you know, um, part of the, or, or at the chosen or selected candidates for this program. So I would like to congratulate you again before, um, you know, I move on to the next. So congratulations on making it to this level. Um, I wouldn't want to go over what Ada said, but it really wasn't um, an easy process selecting 500 um, candidates out of 10,000 plus applications. So, um, carefully to the rest of the program introduction as I go ahead. This, this program is grouped into five cycles, right? We have cycle one, two, three, four, and five. This cycle is a 20 week, which is also five months program that will offer scholars an opportunity to gain the job ready skills they need to pick up or advance their tech careers. So there are many of you who applied who you know are novices or who are intermediates um, or who are beginners. But the overall goal, I would believe that your overall goal is to actually off your career, uh, your tech career in your chosen field. This program is offering, which is, which is the opportunity the program is offering to um, scholars will be enrolled into the program on the scheduled start date of the cycle they recruit. So I mentioned earlier that in your congratulatory emails, we shared some details, including the start date and end date of the cycle that you recruit into. So for example, um, for scholars in cycle one, after the onboarding, this, this onboarding that we're currently on, the cycle one scholars will be added to their respective track. Community as a Slack channel that have been created for solely for this purpose, solely for scholars to engage, interact, right, and also brainstorm on throughout this um, learning journey. On the and Slack channels are posted on the SCA community platform into your chosen tracks. So here's what I'm saying: um, you your chosen track, for example, is cybersecurity, and you belong to Cycle One. There will be a designated Slack channel, you know, just for the scholars that belong to that group. So here you get to engage with your community manager and program, your community admin, excuse me, and program admin to, um, you know, put you through and um, engage you throughout the entire process of this phase of this program. And you also would, be, as scholars, would get to interact with each other, bring up your challenges and problems, and work on it together. Um, also. Um, after the enrollment into the channel, rather after being added to the Slack channel, you will be enrolled into your assigned track on the Coursera platform. So this program, um, like I mentioned earlier, is in partnership with Grow with Google and Coursera. So it's a um, Google certificate course posted on Coursera. So part of your enrollment process would be to enroll you into the Coursera platform. Uh, please note that only those who are sent in their assigned contracts using the contract submission form will be enrolled on the Coursera platform. Um, an email went out to use scholars and um, a form was shared for you to input your, uh, for you to submit your contracts, your headshot, your slack handle, and some other details. So if you don't fill this form already, please ensure you do so, as this is very important for you to move on in the program. Next, um, I will be talking about some tips that you should note as scholars in this program. These tips or guidelines would help you to successfully navigate the community platform, right, and also keep you um, actively engaged and involved in the program. Um, the first tip is communication, right? Um, when you're communicating with yourselves, as scholars, and your community admins and program admins, ensure that you, your, your communication is effective, right? And how can your communication be effective? 
ensure that it's professional, polite, kind, and um, respectful. And of course, when we maintain a respectful environment, I'm sure that more people will be encouraged to engage, right? Because it should be a safe space for everyone to come, um, ask questions, um, provide constructive feedback, bring up their issues, and all of that. So, by your communication, be respectful. Another tip is for your learning community. Um, ensure that throughout the entire duration of the program, that's five months, as much as you can, stay engaged and work well within your track community. Your track communities have been created for you to help you and support you throughout your learning journey. You understand that five months is quite a long time, right? And the program is going to be intense. So to keep you motivated, to keep you actively engaged, to you know, answer your questions in real time and provide feedback also in, in real time, we've created this learning uh, track community. So stay engaged and work well within your track community. So now I'll be moving on to your responsibilities as scholars. Um, before I go ahead, I understand that some of us may have questions and um, some questions you had before the onboarding and some questions are probably coming up as I'm introducing you to the program. Don't worry, there's going to be a question and answer session at the end of this onboarding. So note down your questions. Uh, you can also drop them in the comment section and we'll definitely look through and address them in the question and answer session. All right, uh, moving over to the responsibility. So these are what we expect from you as uh, scholars, right? This is basically what you will be focusing on throughout the entire duration of your five month program. So number one, we expect you as scholars to complete your course modules and assessments within the five month duration. So this is very, very important and I'm going to be emphasizing it. Uh, this is a scholarship opportunity, right? And just like, I mentioned earlier, we had over 10,000 interest. We had over 10,000 applications. That means 10,000 other women and girls like you wanted this opportunity as well. But well, you were selected. So it is your um, responsibility as a scholar to ensure that you keep to the time, the um, designated duration of this program and ensure that you complete your modules and assessments on time. The Coursera platform, has a breakdown of your of your courses has you know the curriculum which you, which you would have access to so ensure that you whatever you can you plan yourself you know set your goals weekly goals monthly goals to ensure that you complete the program within the five months mission secondly stay and actively participate in scheduled workshops and programs in the designated learning platform there so just like I said, this course is hosted on Coursera, and there would be um, there there's a there's a curriculum assigned for your program. So as the as your assessments are coming up, as your workshops are coming up, ensure that you make the most of it. You attend and you participate fully. Thirdly, engage with your designated track community on Slack throughout the program. I already talked about this, and I would just like to emphasize again that this is very important to keep you engaged and motivated throughout the entire duration of the program. Firstly, timely participation in activities, tasks, and program evaluations as directed by your community admin. And lastly, showcase and, do and document your learning journey on your social media platforms, e.g. LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. using the hashtag SCA Scholar or, or rather and SCA X Grow with Google Scholarship. That's S C A X G W G Scholarship. So these are the two hashtags that have been designated for your program. So feel free to use use these hashtags when sharing and showcasing your progress as you continue in this program. And this is one thing that we really would encourage as um, as um, your as as your program admin or as your as your community admin. Really encourage it because we know that. Visibility is very, very important, right? When you're building a career for yourself um, these days, visibility is really important. So this is an opportunity for you to showcase your learning and growth. 
Right. Uh, so moving on to the house rules. So um, there's a saying that where there is no law, there is no offense. Right. But in the Shipwood Africa community, we have house rules to keep you know the community safe and friendly for everyone. These are the house rules that you need to keep in mind. Number one, be respectful. I already touched on this earlier. Ensure that you treat everyone with respect. Remember to say please, thank you, I'm sorry, and you're welcome. Also bear in mind that there will be times where you would disagree with someone on a particular subject or topic. So handle conflicts and disagreements while also being respectful. Secondly, be honest. You do not expect to share any talent you may have, share your learning milestones, wins, and progress. That's why the community has been created for you for easy and seamless communication. And finally, be kind. Be positive towards yourself and others. Speak kindly and think about others, not only yourself. Understand that if you're making progress and if you're, um, if you're making progress, you're thriving in your learning um, journey, you can also help your fellow scholar. Help someone who's, who may be struggling or who may need help in navigating their own learning journey. Um, so those are the basic cultures that you need to keep in mind as we, uh, as you would continue in this program. So now for the uh, graduation requirements. This program is hosted on Coursera, yes. There is a um, curriculum assigned for this program, yes. And um, this graduation requirements I'm about to share would um, give you more insights into what you really need to be able to successfully complete the program. Um, in order to satisfactorily complete the program, scholars must complete the modules and assessments for your learning track on the Coursera platform. Right? They must make commitment and take advantage of all the learning activities presented to you during the course of the program. I believe this is um, fair enough. Uh, ensure that you you complete the modules and assessments, especially within the time frame that would be allocated for your program, or that have been allocated for your program. And secondly, fully partake in all program activities as required by SCA for the duration of the program. Minimum, this would include monthly program calls for progress checking questions and feedback. So throughout the entire learning program, we would be um, scheduling monthly program calls for you to air your questions, your um, challenges, and your feedback, which will be um, answered in real time on the call. So ensure that um, you keep this in mind and you join in. A calendar invite would be shared for the sole purpose of this, you know, to remind you on the monthly program calls. Also for the employability workshops, you know, this was also mentioned in the description of this program. Part of the benefits of participating in the Shipwood Africa Scholarship Program is access to employability workshops because we believe that you know, as you're learning the technical skills, it's also important that you learn the job ready skills that, that will uh, make you employable at the end of your program. Also, the program benefits. These are the four, amongst others, these are the four major program benefits of participating in this program. Number one, the Google Professional Certificate, the Google Professional Career Certificate, which um, is um, known and recognized in any part of the world. We also have um, access to employability workshops, like I mentioned earlier. Also, you would have access to hiring opportunities with our partner. And finally, community support. So these are the four major benefits, amongst others, of participating in this program. So thank you um, very much for listening. This uh, will bring me to the end of the program overview. So now um, I'm going to be taking you on a quick Coursera platform demo to show you how to navigate the program, uh, the platform rather. So um, also, if you if you have any questions regarding this, remember to note your questions down for the Q and A session.
Hi everyone, um, sorry for the little delay. So I would move ahead with doing the demo on Coursera platform. This demo is meant to show you what exactly you should be doing when you receive.
Hi everyone. My sincere apologies again for that. Please let us know if you can hear us. We had some technical glitches that we had to rush in resolving, but please let us know in the chat section if you can hear me clearly before we proceed to the next item on the agenda. Okay, Daniel, as I say, you can see me, but can you hear me? That's the most important part. Awesome. All right, so we'll move on to the um, platform onboarding. What we're going to be showing you is, we're going to take you through the process of how, when you get your onboarding email to the Coursera platform, the next few steps that you need to take into kicking off your program. We would be answering all of the questions that you have. Please um, keep dropping them in the chat section. There is a designated time for your Q&A. We still have quite a number of time on the schedule. So please, if you have any questions, please be patient. We would create a designated time on the agenda to answer all of the questions that you have. We even have someone from our community team who would answer all the questions you have around your um, inquiries about joining the SEA Slack community. So I'm going to be sharing my screen now and I will show you the first few things that you need to see. Please give me a moment. Okay, so when, please let me know if you can hear me and you can still see me because I'm seeing some chats saying they can't hear me. All right, great. So this is what you should get when you get an invite upon being accepted into the program. We would send you using the email that you signed up with on the program, your application. So please make sure that that email is very, very active. The email that you have been using to receive all forms of communication from the Shikod Africa team, please make sure that that email is very active. When we send you an invite, this is how that email is going to look like from the Coursera team. It will tell you that you have been invited to start learning on Coursera. It would tell you congratulations and then it would also show you the courses that were selected for you now this is an example of the cyber security track so if you're on cyber security track congratulations you're going to get an, um, a heads up on some of the courses it shows you just a couple of them and then you can view all the courses so what you have to do when you get this email is to click on join now when you click on join now it will take you to this page right because i already have an account on coursera it would show me something like this if you don't have an account on coursera it would ask you to create an account on coursera if you can't hear me clearly or you can't see me i think you need to refresh your browser or your youtube app make sure that you have it refreshed so when you click on this continue we're doing this together so if at any point in time there's a glitch you know please let me know so this is what it would show you you have to accept the terms and conditions and then you just join the program. So if you're on cybersecurity track cycle one, this is what it will show you. Whatever track it is that you are on, it will show you the cycle number as well. So please make sure that if you get the invite email, make sure that it aligns with the cycle that you're currently on. We will do our best to make sure that everybody is added to the different cycles that they are on. In fact, we're going to make sure that everybody's added to the cycles that they belong to. But you also need to make sure that you're confirming that when you're added to this platform, this is the actual cycle and the track that you're meant to be on. So if you click on join program, this is the most important part. It would show you the course that is under the track that you are on. So for those who are on that cybersecurity track, this is what your page would look like. And if you click on this, if you click on this, please make sure that if you can see my page, please make sure that you are clicking. Um, you can see the sponsored by Shikod Africa 
under that enroll button if you can't see it make um, reach out to any of your pas or your cas your pas is your program admin your ca is your community admin make sure that that's the most important thing if not if you can't see the sponsored by she africa it means that you'd have to pay for it so make sure that you can see that sponsored by she africa before you go ahead to do that another heads up again this live stream recording will be available after this onboarding call so you can always come back to assess it at any point in time if you have questions or concerns but once again when you get this you can click on enroll now but make sure that this sponsored by she africa is there if you click on enroll now let's see what it does but before we do that you can take an overview into seeing what the course is all about what the outcomes are what the testimonials what other people are saying about that particular course so these are the different courses you can look through it to know okay what to expect in your um learnings it would also show you the average hours that is expected now this average doesn't mean that you must spend 27 hours say for example on this course it's just an example if you have more than 27 hours or if you can um if you are a fast learner you can spend less than 27 hours on a particular course so it, it doesn't mean that you have to follow the designated course um hour that is stated on here for you to finish up that particular course the faster it is the better for you because remember that if we don't um if you don't meet up to the five months expectation if after five months you're unable to um you're not unable to finish up your course this is one of the q and a's uh, questions that were said i said but i just need to emphasize this if after five months or towards the end of your five months you're unable to finish your um course on Coursera, we would have to withdraw your certificate. So you won't be able to finish up learning and you'll be able to receive your certificates. But the only time that we will be able to make an exception is if you write to us and let us know for specific reasons, say, for example, very severe health reasons or maybe the loss of a loved one. Nobody's praying for that. But to show you how intense it's going to be and how committed it is that we are to making sure that just because it's a scholarship program doesn't mean that you can attend it at your own point in time. It's a scholarship program, meaning that you have to adhere to the rules and terms of that scholarship program. So back to this, you can look at the different courses and just read testimonials. But the main thing, like I said earlier on, is to ensure that you see the sponsored by Shikoda Africa under it. Once you see it, it means that you don't have to pay anything to enroll for it. If you click on enroll, it will show you that you have enrolled. Also note the dates, right? So the day you are added to that, um, to the training program or to your own track, please make sure that you're finalizing on that immediately. For me now, and as, as an example, today is 30th. So my five months would kick off from November 30th or December 1st. So I have December, January, February, March, April. So before the ending of April, I should be wrapping up my own track. So for example, those of you who are in cycle one, you should start working towards ensuring, okay, I'm going to zoom in my screen, but you should start working towards ensuring that Please let me know if this is a lot better. For those of you who are in cycle one, which is the first cycle, you should start ensuring that you start working towards creating a schedule that would help you meet up to that expectation. And these are the main things that you need to know. Again, I will go through it again. First of all, you would receive an email from Coursera, not directly from Shikoda Africa. You would receive an email from Coursera with this title. You are invited to learn on Coursera and this. How you know that it's the Shikoda Africa team, it would state it here. Shikoda Africa has invited you to start learning on Coursera. So look out for this email for your own cycle. When you get this email, click on join now and it will take you, it will take you to this platform. After you have set up your account, or if you already have an account on Coursera, it's take you to this platform. When you click on your track, the course for your track, for example, if you're cyber security, if you click on this, it will take you to this platform and when you're on this platform make sure that you're seeing sponsored by she africa on this if you can't see it please make sure that immediately you're reaching out to your program admin or your community admin for assistance on this if you can see sponsored by she africa you can click on enroll and then you are good to go and then for subsequent times where you want to visit your Coursera platform to continue your learning, depending on whatever schedule or calendar or timetable it is that you create. 
all you have to do is come on to Coursera, log into your account, and continue learning from there. Does anyone have any questions specifically on Coursera before we move on to general program questions? We haven't started sending out this email yet, so don't worry about it. There's no need to panic that you haven't received this specific email. We haven't sent it out yet, so everything is still good to go. Please let me know if you have any questions specifically on Coursera, how to use Coursera, or any questions you have around this onboarding. No questions. I think we're good to go. I'm going to wait for more questions if anybody has before we move ahead. Is it possible to change course on Coursera? How do I have a Coursera account? Okay, I would answer the first question. How do you get to have a Coursera account? It's very simple. Once you get that email I had shared earlier on, if you don't have a Coursera account, Coursera would request for you to create an account before you continue. So you saw what I showed you because I already have a Coursera account with the email. So if you don't have a Coursera account, it will ask you just like any platform, it will ask you to set up an account. When you set up your account, it will continue from there and take you to this page that you can see. So I hope that answers your questions. I haven't received the email to proceed with this. That's fine. We haven't sent out the emails for this at all. So you're still safe. We will start sending out the emails before the end of this week. So look out for that. And again, immediately you get the email for the onboarding from Coursera. Make sure that you're doing it that day because once you send out the email, the day we send out your email is the day we start counting your five months. Okay. Okay, I, I think that answers your question, Faith. Faith is asking, when we enroll on Coursera, does our five months start to count immediately? Yes, it starts to count immediately. And we'll be directed on when to start the course. You can see on the platform there, you can see it says enroll because today is November 30th. For me, it is telling me to enroll. Enrollment starts November 30th. Can someone enroll to the Shiko Scholarship now? I'm not sure how to answer this question because if you're watching this onboarding, we're assuming that you have already been accepted as a scholar into the program. Please help. I submitted. Okay, that's a regular question. We'll come back to that. Do we receive the emails according to the beginning date of our cycle or we receive it all at once? You would get the email from Coursera towards the start of your cycle. So if you're in cycle two, for example, you will get it towards the start of your cycle right? You won't get it immediately. So if your cycle is meant to start in January, you'll get the email in January. If your cycle is meant to start in February, you'll get the email in February. The reason to this is so that it is easier for us to track and provide as much effort and um, support to everybody on their cycle. You don't want a situation whereby when you join a cycle, you don't have your program admin support or your community admin support and everything is very um, hazy. We want to be able to know, okay, if 200 people join cycle one, 200 people receive all of our attention until it's time for the next cycle. If I already have the same course going on on Coursera, is it okay to still continue with this one? I feel like this is a bit selfish. If you had the same course on Coursera, then why did you apply to this particular course? But to answer your question, if you already have the same course going on on Coursera, I think that's entirely up to you to figure out if you want to keep paying um, for the cost that you're paying for, that's if you're already paying for it, or you want to use the free one. But that's up to you to decide. Can we get a list of the cycles timeline? I think your program manager will share that, but I still don't think that it's something that you need to bother yourself with. As long as you are in whatever cycle it is that you are, you have an idea of your own timeline. Is it possible to change one's program from cybersecurity to UX design? Unfortunately, not. Remember, this is a scholarship program. It is a highly competitive scholarship program. And we made sure that everybody can only apply for one, um, for one track. 
giving you the opportunity to change from one program into the other is a very callous decision that we'll be making, meaning that we'll, we are taking away the opportunity for one person who did not get into this program to give it to you who is unsure of what track it is that you want to join in. If you register for cybersecurity, then you have to put in efforts to make sure that you the cybersecurity course. About the scholarship enrollment, I'm asking for someone who is watching but has not enrolled. Unfortunately, this program is only available to those who have been selected, who applied, and they have received an application, um, successful application email congratulating them that they have been selected for this program. It is free, but only for those who applied and got selected. Do we have any other questions specifically about Coursera, utilizing Coursera platform before we take on general questions? Please feel free to ask as many questions as you have for the Coursera platform. Remember that this um, recording will be available after this live stream, so you can access it if you still have questions that you might have asked earlier on. Yes, the video will be um, available. Why is my cycle five? Why should it not be five? Everyone was randomly split into different cycles. No consideration was made based off of that. If you're lucky enough to be in cycle one, congratulations. If you're lucky enough to be in cycle five, what you should be thankful for is that you were selected out of the 10,000 plus applicants that we received. What I would advise for those of you whose cycles are from three, four, five above, who think, okay, maybe it's a longer time for me to wait. You can start preparing yourself in creating your schedule, in creating and getting familiar with some of the courses they're going to be working on so that when you eventually start your learning, it is easier and faster for you. You kind of have an advantage right now because for those who are in cycle one, they might feel or feel like they are the lab rats because they get plunged in from head start. For those of you who are in cycle two, three and above, you have time to prepare and get a hang on of what to expect. I will be ringing on Shayo. Um, Shayo and myself will be taking on questions that you might have regarding the program. But before that, I think we would bring on Mary Blessing first. Mary Blessing Nokoli is the community associate at Shikoda Africa, and she'll be answering all your questions around joining the Shikoda Africa community platform on Slack. Hi, Mary Blessing. Hi, Ada. Uh, okay, can you hear me well? Yes, we can hear you. All right, great. So, um, I didn't like specific questions for me. I'm trying to look through the comments. <laughs> okay, uh, so we have a few questions um, around joining Slack, the Slack community. Um, people are asking for the link to join the slack community okay um okay cool so um hello ladies hello everyone um i think first of all i want to say congratulations for being a scholar for this scholarship program and um so excited that you all made it to this point so um regarding questions around joining the community um so just like the application to to you know be a scholar in the grow with google uh, and chico africa scholarship program there were it was a whole lot and it was same thing for um applying to like be a part of the chico africa community right and um because it was a whole lot we are also like taking our time to like um duly review every application and bring everyone on board right so um i have we have been able to like um bring a lot of you in the community right on board into the community and the process is pretty simple you get accepted and you get a mail from myself or um my team lead omotola um to join the community um but because um, we are taking our time, it's a little slow, but don't fret. Um, what I would, what I, what I have been doing now is, um, I know a lot of us have reached out, so I personally have been able to like um, 
on board some of us who have been accepted into the program, right? And um, another thing I also want to mention is that some of us have received our emails, but for some reasons have not joined the community. Um, some people complain that, oh, they've not been, they've not, they're not in the community. So when I check the, when I check my end, I see that we have sent them emails, but for some reasons they have not joined the community, but that's okay. Um, what I would do now is I would share a Google form. I know you just have to do is put in the email address you used to apply for the community, um, to join the community, right? And um, before the end of today, or at most tomorrow, you should get an email from me, whether you've gotten one before and um, probably missed the email. Or um, I, I think another thing I wanted to point out is that some persons did, are not like in the community because they did not even apply apply to join the community. So application to join the community is quite different from that of the scholarship. I see that some of us confused both because some people join the community and they'd be like, oh, when are we starting the program? I'm um, in the community, what's next, right? So um, not knowing that <laughs> there are like two different applications. So yeah, um, some of us did not even apply to join the community. So please, if you're on this call and you are, um, you are here, um, like you're on this call, that means you're a scholar. So please go ahead and apply um, to to join the community because we are reviewing that in badges. So, um, oh, my camera, sorry. It's so dark in here. So I want to share the link to the form. Yeah, I want to share the link to the form. Um, I don't know if you can help share to all participants. I can't connect to the comments from StreamYard. I'm not sure why, but. So if you want to sign up um, to join the community, you can simply visit shecodeafrica.org slash community. Mm -hmm. We will yes. drop it on conference, but please go ahead. OK, I think there's another question. Um, Someone is asking, what about those of us that have issues with joining Slack? I have issue creating the accounts. How do you help them resolve them? Okay, cool. So um, if you apply to join the community, we send you an email. Um, one thing I've been able to do is uh, put together a um, frequently asked question document. And one of the things that the document contains is how you can actually go about having and creating your Slack account, right? And how to use Slack. Then another um, questions around Slack I've been getting from a lot of you is that your device is not compatible with it. That's, um, I'm sorry about that, right? But um, one way to go about that is that you use the web app instead of downloading the mobile app. And in that document I just mentioned, I had like explained the steps to go about that, right? So um, if you're yet to apply to join the community, if you visit shikodafrica.org, you will be able to do so. And if you have already applied, um, just fill in your email address on the form um i think Ada would be able to share with us in the comments and i would you know um prioritize reviewing your application before the end of today does that answer the question yes thank you my blessing someone is asking how do we go how does one get the slack handle um yes how does one get the slack handle that's that's the question i think that's summarized because Okay, cool. So, um, so your Slack handle. So when you join Slack, right? Um, again, the document I talked about on the onboarding email also shows like how to use Slack. Everything you need to know about Slack, to be honest. But again, um, to get the Slack handle, so there are two handles on Slack. There's one that says the display name, and there's one that says the username, right? So your um, your display name is like the name people see when you say you put something on the Slack channel, for instance, right? And there is the full name, which um, when they click on your profile, they're able to like see it in full, right? So um, an instance would be the super queen for the month of November. Her full name is Chamaka, right? Um, I can't recall her surname now, but her display name on Slack is Fiona, right? So whenever she posts, you definitely see Fiona. 
but you already know she's Chamber County probably click on her profile. So um, um, the, the Slack handle that you have been requesting to impute in your in the in the um, form or document you were asked to fill is your display name, right? Um, yeah. Thank you very much, Mary Blessing. Um, someone is asking, I'm on the Slack community already as a member, would there be a separate channel for the scholars? So I would answer that. There, there will be a separate channel for the scholars like um, Shayo had mentioned during her presentation. You will be added once you share your Slack handle, which is what Mary Blessing has just explained how to get your Slack handle. Your Slack handle is the one that starts with at XYZ. So whatever your Slack handle is, you have to share to make sure that we are able to get your handle and add you to the private channel. You won't be able to um, get into that channel unless we get your Slack handle. I think there are a couple of other questions. Um, Just give me a minute to look through that. Um, if you have, I don't think I can find any questions specifically for the Slack community, but if at any point in time you have questions for um, how to join the Slack channel, please make sure to drop it on the chat section. Mary Blessing is going to be backstage on here um, and we'll bring her up on stage if we do have any other questions. Thank you very much, Mary Blessing. Um, thank you so much, Ada. Please help share the link to the form. Um, I it's just on the, the chat. Um, live stream as well, uh, already. She could have okay, thank you. Okay, I'm seeing Slack won't let me sign up with Gmail. So if you have received that email inviting you to join the SCA community, please make sure that it is the same email you're trying to use to set up your account. If it's not allowing you sign in with your Gmail. Make sure that it is the same email that you received that. Now, if for some reasons you are unable to, please make sure that you're replying community's team because they are the ones who will be able to answer or help you out with any issues you have with the community platform. Community at shecodeafrica.org. I brought back um, Shire up on stage and we'll be taking any questions or all of the questions it is that you have around the program. Hi, Shire. Hi. So we have tons and tons of questions that I'm going to be popping up on the screen for you. The first one is someone asking, I have read the FAQ. Um, sorry, please, how do we sign the She Got Africa slash Go with Google Scholarship contract? I feel like this is a very, very easy question, but I'll let you answer that. for a second okay someone was asking how does she sign the contract i think i'll just easily answer that for you to sign the program contract is very simple all you have to do and i think that this program will test your access to digital your knowledge about digital skills and platforms if you haven't signed a digital um, form or document before I think now is a good time to start practicing that because we live in a digital world. All you simply have to do is download the document as a PDF and you could either use your phone or your PC to sign it. On your phone, you can download Adobe. I don't know what if you're using Android or if you're using um, iPhone, you can download Adobe or you can also sign on WhatsApp. In Africa, we use WhatsApp a lot. You can um, send your form on what uh, your document on WhatsApp when you sign it and you send it back via email. On your laptop, you can download Adobe and sign with your digital signature. Please make sure that you're including your name, your signature and your dates before sending it back or filling the form to upload your um, contract. Hi, I think I'm back on now. Yes, we have another question. Hello, my Slack email is different from my SC email. I hope it doesn't affect everything. Or should we change it to the same thing? If I get your question correctly, are you saying that the email that you use to sign up for the Shikura platform is different from the email you use to sign up for the program itself? So Ash is trying to answer that. 
there is a question here. So I'll leave that for you to answer. Okay. So um, this is Tari. Hi, Tari. She's asking, hi, SCA team, for scholars that have sent their signed contract form, I think an email should be sent to us to confirm uh, submission. Oh, um, that's fine. Uh, we already sent out a form earlier to collect these details. So if you have signed your contract, there is a way we can definitely track that. And if you've not signed your contract as well, there is a way we can track that. So if you've not signed your contract, um, this is a reminder for you to do so as soon as possible, preferably before the end of today, so that you can be added to the Slack um, channel designated for this program. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Shayo. We have a couple of questions around the cycle. Um, do you think it would be possible for us to get a breakdown of when each cycle starts? Yes, um, definitely. Although this has already been shared um, in your emails, in your conversation emails, but I would go over that quickly. In the okay, so we have another question. Can we carry out cost any time as long as we finish in six months or she could Africa create a timetable for tax we will be doing per day okay um concerning this question like i mentioned earlier this program is five months five month program um the sarah commented time frame or um the advice for sarah would give on the time frame to complete this program in six months but this particular program is limited to five months. So all of your schedules uh, on how you can do this program in five months will be scheduled. So um, have that in mind. This program, you have to complete this in five months. Thank you very much, Shayo. Um, I think we're having a bit of issue with your audio, but for those of you who did not hear that clearly, you can carry this out at any point in time. Um, but you must finish within five months, not six months. Please bear in mind, you need to finish your program within the five months that your cycle starts from. On your email that you sent, your congratulatory email that you were sent, you were informed of when your cycle is meant to start. The next question here is, is there going to be a practic any practical aspects for this scholarship program aside the Coursera courses we will do. Um, for this question, I would like to understand more what she means by practical uh, aspects. But on the Coursera platform, there's definitely going to be opportunities for you to practice your learning, right? And um, the Shikoda Africa team is also um, you know, putting together workshops and avenues for you to also practice what you're learning. And also, I would advise that by yourself and um, out different resources and software online that would help you to you know practice your learning as well thank you very much there's quite a ton of questions here um there's another question asking for should we expect these emails before the start of our respective cycle so i'm guessing this email is the welcome email from coursera so what should they be expecting or when should they be expecting these emails Okay, so I will be answering the question in two aspects. Um, for the cycle one participants, right? The cycle one scholars, and expect your emails to go out this week, right? For the rest of the cycles, that's from cycle two to cycle five, just like Ada shared earlier, you would get your emails um, prior to the start date that, you, that, that has been shared on your uh, email congratulations or your congratulatory email rather. So cycle one scholars look out for your um, emails to enroll into the Coursera platform for the end of month. Thank you very much, Shayo. Another question. Is it just one course we can do or can we do others like advanced cybersecurity? Uh, 
or forty for that particular program, um, you can only take the course that you registered for, right? And that you were selected for. So if you registered for cybersecurity or data analytics or you I um, or UX design, you can only take those courses. I don't know if I answered your question, Amanda. Yeah, I think that definitely answers it. You can only take the course that you were invited to um you were invited to participate in. Please keep asking as many questions that you have so that we can help answer immediately. So while we are waiting for more questions to come in, um, I see some questions here about uh, joining the Slack channel designated for their tracks and also when they would get their um, enrollment emails from Coursera and all of that. There's going to be a section or a session rather on this onboarding that will take you through the next steps, what to expect after this onboarding. Just um, tune in and look out for that session and all your questions regarding what to expect from this onboarding will be answered. Okay. There's another question. Hi, I've been having a problem with filling the onboarding form and I haven't submitted it yet. Will my scholarship be terminated? Is there a timeline that we have for everyone to make sure fill the onboarding form? Okay, so definitely there's a timeline for that. Um, we shared the form to you yesterday, or the day before yesterday, and by now we expect that every um, scholar would have signed their contracts, uh, you know, fill in their headshots and submitted the form. But if you haven't been able to do that already, um, if you have any technical issues, I would advise that you try different browser, browsers for this purpose. And you can also send a mail um, to programs at shikodafrica.org, programs at shikodafrica.org, and uh, make your subject, similar uh, your subject basically to the purpose why you're sending, you're sending the email, and that will be addressed. Thank you very much. So if you have any concerns or any issues, please make sure that you're sending it to um, programs at shikodafrica.org. So someone is asking, can we get a reply email to confirm the contract and Slack details we sent are sufficient so that we know everything is in order? I think I would like to answer this. First of all, it, I don't think it's possible to receive um, a response to every, or to send a response to every single person. We have 500 of you who we are trying to make sure that everything is sorted out. So once you follow all of the steps, especially knowing how to get your back handle and also making sure that you're submitting your signed um, copy of your contract and filling the onboarding form, then you're good to go. This is one of the reasons why we are having this onboarding um, call on this live stream, so that you know what exactly it is that you're meant to do and you know how to go about it. Like I said earlier on, you can always access this later on. In case you're having any issue, you can come back and watch to know how to address it. Someone is saying, I haven't gotten the contract we sent to me yet. Should she send an email to programs at shikodafrica.org? You haven't gotten a contract, FYI. Um, you, I'm sure that you've gotten your contract, but we sent to you. If you have an issue, just like Ada just said, if you, if you have any issues, excuse me, with um, maybe accessing the contracts that were shared, please send, it, send an email to programs.shikodafrica.org and ensure that your subject is the, you know, summarizes the reason why you're sending the email so that it can be prioritized. Okay. As the next question, what happens when you physically signed the PDF and we uploaded the scan? We cannot submit the contract twice. There's so many funny questions on here. Okay, um, we've had some cases like that. We've seen some contracts. Um, some people have sent the scanned copy of their printed contract. Um, but the issue with that is, unfortunately, the contracts are not clear enough, right? Um, and it's very important that we're able to see content of the contract. I would advise that you um, fill in the form, sign digitally, and send the digital form, or digital contracts, rather. If you're having any issues with that, um, and then try different um, browsers, and or send a 
send an email to programs at shikodafrica.org. There's another question of uh, uh, our start date was 30th, but we haven't gotten Coursera sign up yet. Answer this, please. So one thing that we want everybody to note is that at Shikor Africa, you have to be fast up and running. I'm seeing some questions that normally you shouldn't even be asking, but yes, we have provided the platform to take in as many questions as possible. Again, you have to stay up on your feet and be smart in everything that you're doing. I had mentioned during the um, Coursera demo that for those of you who are in cycle, we want you your emails before the end of this week. Ideally, you should even get your emails and onboarding emails before the end of today or latest by tomorrow. So look out for that email and be patient. Another thing that I want to quickly point out is I see that we are all in a hurry to get the emails to start the program. Remember, five months must sound like it's a very short time, but a lot can happen within five months. A lot, we will definitely see some people, not everybody who starts this program would be able to participate to the end so all of this activeness this excitement we hope that you're able to maintain it all throughout the five months what i'm trying to say in essence is don't be in a haste don't be so um don't be in a haste for lack of a better word be calm be patient and everything will go smoothly so while shaya is trying to join i will try to um answer the other questions that are on here I'm seeing a lot of repetitive questions. Okay, most of the questions are quite repetitive from for what we had earlier. For what we had earlier answered. Um, okay, there's one. Hi, I signed up using my main email, but used another email to access your other. I feel like we've already answered this. What matters is that the email that you use to sign up or to apply for this program, that is the email that every form of communication will be sent to you. If you use another email to sign up for the SCA community or to send in your um, confirmation form, whatever it is, make sure that the for if you're sending in your onboarding um, this in contracts and filling in the form, make sure that it has the same name in the way that you applied on the form. Again, there's so many of you, it's going to be very difficult for us to try to place each single person to each single email. What makes it easier for us is if you signed in saying my name is ABC, or if you signed up on the platform saying my name is ABC, when you're doing anything for the rest of this program, make sure that you're saying your name is ABC in that format. The email that you used to apply on the um, scholarship program is the email you would receive your Coursera onboarding or welcome email from. That's the email you would use to access the Coursera platform on. I'm trying to see if there are any other questions. Hi, I'm Gloria. How do I, please, how do I know my cycle or my track? This is how you know people who do not read the emails to the end. If you read the welcome emails, if you had gotten the congratulatory email telling you that you have been selected as a scholar, if you scroll down, you would see your program details, your cycle details, your onboarding details, all of that. It will tell you the track that you have been assigned to, which is a track that you signed up for. It will tell you the cycle number and it will tell you your cycle when your cycle is meant to kick off from just to quickly mention um for those of you who are having issues accessing accessing the sa platform but you have signed up you have signed up and you have gotten a congratulatory email telling you that your application your membership application to the shiko africa platform has been accepted we dropped a link on the um we dropped a link on the chat. Please fill that form so that we can expedite it. Fill the form so that we know that, okay, this person is now taking part in the scholarship program and we need to make sure that they are able to have access to the Shiko Africa community platform. I tried to open the contract, but it says I don't have the permission to open. Please assist. 
I'm not sure what platform it is that you were using to open your contract, but I would let Shayo answer this question. Okay, um, thank you, Ada. So we got a ton of email regarding that question. A lot of people were requesting access to edit the document. So you're not supposed to be able to edit the document. What you do to sign is download first as a PDF file, then you edit digitally. You can use a probe, um, probe, um, Acrobat, rather, for that purpose, and you know some other ways that you can navigate that. We are supposed to download first PDF and then sign. Thank you very much, Ayo. So I'm highlighting again for those of you who have been accepted into the SA community, we are having issue accessing the platform or whatever issues it is that you have. Please fill this form. You can simply copy out the uh, link and um, fill the form so that we can expedite your application and make sure that you get access to the community platform before your um, cycle starts. Trying to see if we have any other questions before we move ahead. I didn't see the Slack handle. Can I resend? Chai, do you want to answer that? Okay, so we would actually have to, at this point, I think we'll have to open up the form to second submission. And this time, uh, we we'll would require you to fill in your cycling numbers and your, um, your facts. Look out for that um, form. If you're having issues filling the form, you submitted the wrong contract, or you submitted the contract without signing, or, you know, this wrong slack handle, just like this question says, um, the form will be opened for a submission. So you can fill in the correct details and submit Thank you very much. There is another question, which I think is a very smart question. Um, she's asking, who will be my POC for data analytics? I am in cycle three. Can they perhaps suggest any links in YouTube to familiarize myself, etc., etc.? How do they get to meet their POCs? Okay, so to answer this question, um, I'm going to be going over the list of POCs that have been assigned to each of the tracks. Um, but as, uh, once you're signed in, once you're, um, once you're accepted into the Slack channel that's listed for you, you will get to meet your community admin and your program admin. But today I'm going to Okay, to continue from what um, I think Shari is experiencing some connection issues. Basically, when you get added to the um, to your community, your track community, you will get to meet your program admin and your community admin. Your program admins are there to help you if you have any concerns, and also there to guide you if you have any concerns around your um, your course or your track on Coursera. While your community admins are there to help you if you have any issues concerning your track community within um the sca slack community and also both of them will be working in handy hard to make sure that all the other benefits you're able to utilize it you're able to get these benefits throughout the duration of your program including things like joining the program call and um, getting your the participating in the employability workshop and all, all of the other benefits someone is asking please would there be a whatsapp platform for each cycle during the training period no we do not utilize WhatsApp group chats at any point in time, just in case anybody's trying to make you join any WhatsApp group chat. We do not do that. The community platform, which is called your track community. Say, for example, if you're in cybersecurity track cycle one, you will be a part of the cybersecurity track community cycle one. So your track community, all of your track communities will be on the SCA community platform so that you don't have to join multiple communities or multiple platforms. Once you have access to the SCA community, you get you will be added to your private Slack channel, which is your track community. I'm already in the SCA Slack community, but I'm not in my track community. You will be added, like I said, it is a private community. Once you have shared your Slack handle, you will be added to the community platform, either by your program admins, your program manager, or your community admins. 
once you get added, you will, not, you will receive an education on your um, on the Slack community platform. You would see the name of your track community for you to access it. Any other questions? Please, can we get a list of program admins? Um, a list per se is not available, but I think what I can do right now is help read out the names of your program admins and community admins. Some of them have been on the chat section interacting with you and letting you know. So I will just read out for cycle one. Um, those are people who need to know immediately who their program admins are. So I'm going to read that out. Um, give me a few minutes. So for if you are in the cybersecurity or IT support track, your program admin is Sepati. She was the one who gave the welcome intro, welcoming you to this onboarding call. If you are on the IT, if you are on the IT track, um, IT support and cybersecurity track, your community admin is Miriam Wambu. I don't think she's currently on the call, but you get to meet her. Now, if you're on the digital marketing and e-commerce or the project management track, cycle one, your com your program admin is Bagulo Aisha. She has been in the comment section as well. She's also backstage. And um, your community admin is Uluwasheun Oladeji. She was the one who um, encouraged you to make tweets, etc. Now, if you're in the data analytics or the UX design, or the UX design um, tracks, any of this, your program admin is Ejimofo Adeze. She has also been on the chat interacting with you. And your community admin is Lilibel Obiadika. So once again, you get to meet each of your, you get to meet each of your um, community admins and your program admins when you're added to your individual tracks. I think we are, okay, Adeze is also here. She just introduced herself. Hello, everyone. I'm the program admin for data analytics and UX design. Um, I think that we can, if anybody else has any questions, you can send your questions to programs at chicodafrica.org. Uh, we'll just do a brief run through again of what is expected from you. Once you get accepted into the program, you have to sign your program contract and fill the onboarding form. The onboarding form would um, help you share all the required details, if I'm correct, Chaya. It would help you share all the onboarding details, including your Slack handle. To get your Slack handle, all you have to do is go to the Slack community, click on where your name shows, and what it shows you there, the ad, whatever comes with the ad, that's your name. Uh, let me see if I can do a brief demo. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can do a brief demo showing you how to get your um, handle. OK, I don't think that I'm able to, because I'm utilizing the Slack app. So I won't be able to um, share my screen on Slack. But it's very simple. If you're on the SCA community, how you need to know your handle. Now, when you post something, the, um, the name it shows as your name when you post something on any channel or any part of the community, that is your handle. So say, for example, oh, sorry, rather, that is your display name. But when you go to your profile, when you click on your picture, when you click on your picture, the full name that it shows there, that's your Slack handle. So it's that full name that you're meant to share. For example, if you go to the general community right now, and you will see Mary Blessing and Omotola's um, messages, when you click on their picture, you will see their full names. That is where their Slack handles are. That's how to get your Slack handle. It's very simple. Now, um, back to all the things that you need to know, very easy. After getting your, after signing your program contract, please don't request access to the doc. All you just need to do is download it as a PDF and sign either with your phone on WhatsApp or on your laptop. 
send it on the form that send your signed contract on the form make sure that it's legible enough include your handle and then just sit back and relax and wait for the sea team after we review your contract and we confirm your handle we would number one add you to your community to your track community on slack number two we would um, send you your onboarding email through Coursera and then you can get started on your course. I would leave the stage now and let Shayo take over from this. All right, um, thank you very much, Ada. And um, I hope you've been enjoying the onboarding so far, um, scholars. I hope that you've been um, gaining as much insight as possible. And I hope that most of your questions have been answered. Unfortunately, we're not able to run through all of the questions. But just as we've emphasized over and over again, do send an email to programs at shikodafrica.org and your questions will be answered. Right, um, so I just ran through the next steps you know, to expect after this onboarding. And now I'll be taking you through how to stay active on your designated um, track community. Just before I move ahead, a lot of questions have been coming in regarding um, is there a designated um, that channel for this, just to answer that again quickly, yes, you're going to be added to a, flat, uh, a track community designated for your track, right? And this is how you can stay active on the community. Number one, do make sure that you ask questions. So um, a lot of you ask questions in this onboarding in the chat section that we're not able to cover, right? So as soon as you join in, as, as soon as you're added to the um, track channel or track community, ensure that you know you ask your questions. And I'm sure that your community admins will be happy to answer your questions. So I hesitate to ask questions um, regarding the um, program itself. Once you are onboarded and you start your learning journey, ensure that you know, at any point in time when you come across any challenge, the track, um, the track community is your go-to. And I'm sure that the community admin or program admin and even your fellow scholars would um, put you through. So secondly, set learning goals. Now, this is very important. Uh, this is very important and pivotal to the success of your um, program or your learning journey. Uh, make sure that you define your learning goals and share them with the community. This not only helps you to stay accountable, but it also allows others to provide guidance and support. To ensure that you set learning goals, and you not only set them, but you also keep your learning goals. Thirdly, provide constructive feedback. There is a community, right? Everyone will be added to that your track community, and a lot of your fellow scholars will be coming on board to ask questions regarding whatever. If you're going to be providing a feedback, which we encourage you to, please ensure that you keep it constructive, right, and kind and respectful, just as um, we mentioned earlier. Number four, active participation. Participate in discussions, share your insights, and ask questions. Your contributions not only help you to learn, but also enrich the learning experience even for others. So your active participation is required throughout the entire duration of this program. Number five, share resources. If you come across useful articles, tutorials, or tools, share them with the community. Don't expect to share them with the community. Sharing resources contributes to the collective knowledge of the group. And this also helps to keep the track channels interactive. So once you come across any um, resource online or article, make sure that you do share with your fellow scholars in the community. Number six, collaborate on projects. Explore opportunities to collaborate on projects or study groups within the community. Work together on practical tasks enhances your skills and builds a sense of humor. Um, I'm sure that this is explanatory. So I'll be would like to build a collaborative spirit among scholars. That's another reason why the community was created. So learn to work together on um, um, they would say difficult tasks that may come your way and also collaborate in your project. Number seven, review notifications regularly. Regularly review Slack notifications and email notifications as well to stay informed about new messages, mentions, 
for announcements. Signing up with notifications helps you stay engaged in real time questions. I would like to quickly reference some of us that have asked some questions in this onboarding today. These questions were already answered in most of the emails that we sent. Oh my God, I didn't know my mic was muted. But I was saying to continue from where Shaya stopped because of time. Um, the next part is to take in questions that any of you have. We have already been taking our time to respond to some of the questions that you have. But if you have any more questions, please feel free to drop it in the chat section so that we can answer your questions before we call it a wrap for the onboarding program today. Welcome back, Shaya. Yeah, sorry about that. I had a networking interruption. So I think one common thing is one common question or question that I've been seeing is some people said they have uh, they had earlier filled the form but they didn't send in or put in some of the correct details and now they can't refill the form again. Is it possible for us to open up the form to allow people to fill again? Okay, so there you have it. If you had issues filling the form earlier or you put in a wrong detail, you can refill the form again. Um, do I need to join this community before I get a Slack handle? Yes, I don't think that's a... Yes, you need to join the community first of all. Again, if you're having issues joining the community, make sure that you had already applied to be a part of the SCA community and your application has been accepted. If your application has not been accepted, Send an email to community at shikodafrica.org with a screenshot of your acceptance email so that they can expedite your application. Because just like this scholarship program, our community membership program is quite intense and we receive over 1,000 applications every single day. Um, I think that's about it from my end. Um, if anybody else has any questions, please, you can send an email to programs at shikodafrica.org. I would um, give Shaya the stage now to continue and wrap up today's onboarding call. Thank you, everyone. I'm sure your mic is muted. Thank you, Ada. Um, it's been a long time right from the beginning of this onboarding call until now um we are very excited to receive you and officially welcome you into the program um so there you have it we've gone through the details of the program we've answered some of your questions and you know our founder Ada has shared the next steps to expect so i would just like to say keep your enthusiasm and excitement high so this energy that you've started with um, this excitement that you've started with, ensure that you um, keep it for the entire duration of the program. You understand that, um, you know, it's possible that along the program, well, your motivation may drop, but ensure that you stay active within the community, like I said earlier, which will help you to, you know, keep your excitement. Basically, when you're drawing from, you know, motivation from other scholars and you're seeing the progress of other scholars, I'm pretty sure that you would want to, you know, keep going. To ensure that you stay active within the community. This is like a hack I'm sharing to keep you motivated throughout the program. Congratulations once again, ladies, and expect to be added to your designated Slack channels um, you know, from today and throughout the end of the week. And this is um, specifically for like one um, scholars. Thank you very much, ladies, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.